hello guys welcome to my channel once again in this tutorial i'll be showing you how i created this flyer in corel draw yes corel draw without having to waste much of your time let's get started so like we've always done in the past the first thing to do is click on file a new and i'll just quickly give this a name here um so i'll just do club flyer like this and then of course primary mode rgb i'm going to change the size a five by five and i'm going to click ok just like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is double click on the rectangle like this to make a replica of the rectangle itself this is the space that i'll be working on right great so i'm going over to my text to i'm going to type friday just like this very easy like this um make a duplicate copy of it like this right highlight select the two of them and increase the size like this and of course i'm going to change the font that i use for this so the font i use for this is this font here right baron Yun. so i'm just going to use the black one um yeah this i'm going to use the black right so in case i forget you can download the resource file for this video in the link of the description of this video just below right so do yourself good and download the link to make use of them so what i'm going to do is just i'm just going to um, arrange this well uh, make this slightly bigger just like this and i am good to go i'll just bring it out while i work on this for for this i'm just going to apply this color here i'm going to hold it down and select the darkest part of this color here just like this and um i'm just going to hold down control while i click on black like this to make it a little bit darker all right transparency and i'm going to use fountain fill like this um yes click on fountain fill and i'm going to use the elliptical fountain fill i'll click on this point here and i'm just going to use this color here right i'm going to extend no I'm going to hold this down and um, uh, transparency is not going to work like that so I'm just going to extend let's see okay so I'm just going to tint it down by holding down control and clicking on that color while I decrease it like this and I'm just going to extend this this way I just want a perfect gradient Alright, so uh, let's see. Um, no, I'm going to hold down control again while I click on this to mix the colors up. Uh, make sure you're clicking on the point here, like this. Alright, so this is the color code. You might just want to copy it and just paste there. So it makes work, um, makes it all easy for you. Alright, so um, okay, so this is the color code in case you need to use it. Alright, good so um this is the first step right to get my background right so i'll go ahead to the next thing to do so i'm just going to move this friday back inside here i'm just going to move it to the center of the page or somewhere close to the center um somewhere around here is good i'm going to revert the color to this color here and um make it bigger slightly bigger like this right so next thing I'm going to do is bring in my first element for this design, which is this background um, somewhere on F. So I'm just going to make this smaller, increase the size like this, and I'm just going to click on transparency, click on elliptical transparency, just like this. You can see what I have, a nice looking transparency, right? So I'm going to effect i'm going to image adjustment lab and i'm just going to click on reset so it cancels everything you've done in the past and i'm just going to bring down the saturation and click ok right so i've removed all the colors that i have in the image itself right so next thing i'd like to do is go over to bitmap convert to bitmap and uh, click ok i don't need to make any changes there go to bitmap again convert it to this twice right now go to transparency uniform and um yeah uniform let me see good 
click on transparency uniform and just reduce it to increase it to 86 or somewhere around that value you can see this is what i want so i'm just going to um, set my value to 78 the 80 was too much let me see how it is power clip it inside of this all right so just power clip it inside here like this right easy peasy just like this okay so i'll just adjust this gradient a little bit and bring it close inside like this inside and inside like this while i have this friday outside right great so we'll just go to objects and convert to curves right while i weld the two of them together like this so you now have the two of them as one image like that all right great okay so i made a big copy of um the friday and on the one that is under i'm just going to apply um gaussian blur to it this way so you, if you've done that the right way this is what you would have so it creates like sort of like a light effect right so you can choose to duplicate it but for this I'm just going to stick to my one step that I've done. All right, I'm not going to go for that. Okay, so next thing I'll do is I light all of them and um, take it up slightly like this, so as to create room for bringing things inside here like this. I'm just going to adjust the city inside or the shape inside while i bring in the next element which is the model herself so i'm going to be doing a couple of things with this model the first thing is i'm just going to put it inside like this this way and uh, make it smaller just like this and um, let me just make it big right i'm zoomed out with my scroll wheel so you can use your scroll wheel to zoom out just like this while you have um, a good amount of areas to work with right so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go over to my shape tool I like these two points and take it up like this I won't be needing those regions right shape tool I like those two points and um, make adjustments make the adequate adjustment you need to make to it i'm going to go to transparency because i don't like that sharp edges and i'm going to fade from white to black black conceals and white reveals right so somewhere around here is good i think i'm okay with this okay So having done all of that, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to highlight the entire image and make it slightly bigger like this, right? Just increase it like this. So the next thing I want to do is uh, since we have um, a light source at the back, I would like to trace out the light source on her head too. So I'll select the beast line tool and I will just trace the edge of her hair like this um just trace and make sure it's perfect like this and um trace all the way down here like this just make sure you're doing a good job at tracing this right so having done this i'm just going to go back to color and i'm going to right click on the color right right click on that color you can see how nicely um, how nice that has come out i'm going to complete um, on this part of her hair too and i'm going to finish it here right click on this color here like this 
and there you go all right so this is what you've made out of it so i'll just go over to effects i'll go to blur gaussian blur selecting the line all right make sure it's not too much make sure it's not too much i'm going to reduce it to the barest minimum somewhere around here i think it's good so you can copy my settings 1.5 pixel click ok like this that's all so that's how to fix the lighting effect um on the image so i'm just going to go on and um bring in my other text for this design i'm just going to type it out so hangout i'm just going to give it a white color change the font here to what i want to use like this right so i'm just going to have this here and um I think I'm going to make this bigger like this and I'm just going to move it well in place here make this slightly bigger again again like this and put it out so I'm just going to draw this rectangle here I'm going to select the darkest region of this shape and apply it on the rectangle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this rectangle to the shape itself so from white to black like this you can see now so i'm just going to move this up just so this text would have a balanced place to actually sit right so i'm just going to bring it up shift page up shift page up to bring it to the top of the page like this so there you have it going to apply this color and I'm going to do the same thing I did to the Friday but this time it's going to be different I'm going to duplicate it and make this one white just like this you can see then for the background this is what I'm going to work with so go to effects and go to sorry blur and caution blur right so I'm just going to fade it out like create a light source out of it click ok and i'm just going to pull the hangouts back there and move it in place i'm going to blur this somewhat more or even uh, change the blend mode to screen first all right change the blend mode to screen make a duplicate copy of it go over to blur again and click on gosh and blur this time i'm going to increase it all the way out so I have that nice light effect like what you're seeing now. Right? I'm gonna click OK. And having done that, I'm just going to bring this hangout inside here and position this well. You can see how this is coming out nicely, right? Great. Let me just move this in place like this. Good. zoom in in case you can always zoom in and zoom out if you need to adjust with your scroll wheel so if you're a designer and i don't know me personally i like working with the mouse because it gives me a huge amount of flexibility when working so to save us time i'd already typed all of this down so i'm just going to bring it in and position them at the right place all right i'm gonna make this smaller and this is the venue the time and the gate fee so i'm just going to bring in this one here that's the barcode i'm just going to make it smaller like this i'm also going to put this in place here this way i want to make it smaller make it a little bit smaller and good i think this is okay 
the last thing i'm going to do is bring in this text here and i'm just going to put this one on top here like this right so i have the date i have the time i have the gate fee and all the information for this particular event right great so this brings me to the end of this design session if you've liked my video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so you don't miss any videos i'll be dropping anytime from now i'll see you in the next video